Hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Mystic Vale. I've decided, like a crazy person, oh, wrong thing, uh, to go and purchase all the expansions. There was a bundle on Steam, you know how it goes, because I actually had a great time with this game. I still don't know what the reception is on YouTube, but one way or the other, I can definitely see myself playing quite a few more rounds of this offline. Just classic play. Hopefully you're down for it. I still need to learn how to play the game and win. Clearly, with even moderate AI, I am getting crushed. So let's put the um, all the expansions in. Does this uh, enable leaders? And enable leaders, enable amulets. I don't know what that means. Let's learn together. So select an amulet, Moonstone. On a spoil, lose three. On a spoil, as the last action of your harvest phase, you may spend three to flip this amulet. Evoke. Um, so it looks like spoiling flips it, or... Why would I not pick... A, hmm. So evoke. Gain one or choose one card from your field or on deck that card gains two guardians until the end of turn whereas this one here is a little bit simpler it's just evoke for two power um i'm gonna last time i went for guardians it didn't really work for me i guess we'll grab this one because it's a little bit more interesting it looks like as the last action of your harvest phase you can spend three to flip this amulet or you just spoil so now it seems like they added in some benefits for spoiling. So now the obvious play isn't just to not ever look for additional cards here. I think spoiling and getting two power instead of this kind of more um, more specific ask is actually weaker. Because I think if I spoil early, I'll be okay with that. So we have the Moonstone, and now we're going to pick a leader. Harvest, gain a fertile soil. So every turn we gain a fertile soil or healer gain an additional um piece this allows you to make like really big 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 uh versions of these guys he flips to giving this you may either gain a fertile soil or obtain a third advancement card for two less or this so this guy goes wide instead of deep that might work for this level of game discard up to three level two or three advancements on in the commons immediately replenish them so i actually like this guy more for the green but if you flip them you can see this guy here is chilling it costs five to upgrade him though and only three to upgrade this guy so this guy is pretty strong um harvest gain of fertile soil i don't know how we feel about that usually there's like 14 terms i don't want that many fertile soils do i Let's go for this guy. We get an extra green, it would seem. I guess he gets... Or, oh no, he's probably a card. Actually, had I realized that, I probably would have done something different. So, I can't see what they just did. I can see this guy got his leader. Harvest, you may discard your on-deck card. So, that's really good. That means he can throw out this card, and then he doesn't have to deal with uh, uh, trying to cycle to get that one through. All right, it's on me. I have three cards. I have an extra purchase right now. For three, I could go all the way up to a sentry, but he gives me nothing but that. This guy here gives me a spoil, but he gives me two power and a wild. Either way, I think I'm going to take a chance on the pushing my luck one card. Actually, let's look here. One, two, three, four cards have been taken out. That means, if I look at my quick reference here, there's seven cards left in the deck that are good for me, and there are seven cards that are bad. 50-50, we're good. Let's take this turn. And while in your field, you get one less to spend with Grasslands, but you get... Um, this cancels all out, so like that's fine. Because we just added a green. So, okay. They're going for some fertile land. He's going for some fertile land. They're starting with the basic stuff. Makes sense to me. Um, it's my go. I have four. 
We've drawn basically everything else. I don't think pushing our luck makes sense now because I think that it's mostly just dead cards left. So let's go next uh, with our four purchase. Again, it's a little bit lame. Maybe we just make a super fertile uh, card here. I think that makes sense for us. I don't know where our amulet is. Is it this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we spoil, it looks like we lose three points, but we we get the thing later. I don't know why we're at minus one already, to be honest, but clearly I've taken a card that had a minus one point on it or something. So here's our leader. He presumably has two on it, and I could upgrade him for three. I don't think that makes sense. His flip side is not that hot. Um, if we were to draw a card right now, one, two, three, four, five, right? There's 15 cards in our discard pile. And four of them are bad, right? So this is the discard pile. So one. So there's a really good chance that we're okay right now. So let's go ahead and draw one. And now that that's off the top of our deck, we're good. Let's take our turn. And again, I don't love our purchases. I also don't love this guy, um, his backside. What is it? I'm really afraid, oh, there it is. He gets one purchasing power. Yeah, I don't love it. Do we do we have a fertile soil here? No. Um I don't mind you, Bone Caster. Because I have a blank tile for it. So I could put a bone caster here. I could put a sentry on it as well, but I get no benefits from these guardian things yet. If I look over here, it doesn't look like anything is giving double gain yeah these are just kind of weak and I don't have enough different colors for these wilds to make sense so let's go ahead and we'll just make a um, a couple of our cards better maybe just one card really good here I feel like everybody's basically grabbing those because what else would you do we have five purchase in our next round though so we can at least get the plow started that will start getting us one point per turn. Alternatively, we can get the Weaver if we think Guardians are better, but I don't see anything that uses Guardians yet. So this time we're not gonna shuffle one off the top. And you know what? I think there's a gameplay setting. Let's make sure that we always switch to the current player tab. It might be a little bit jarring, but we'll see if people uh, do their little cheat thing. Maybe that's what I'm missing. So let's take um, let's take this harvest and put it over here. So our next turn looks like we're up to seven. Yeah. So they didn't do the plus one. What is this card though? Holy! And I didn't see what their power are. So he failed last time. Okay. So I don't think this one's worth risking. We got seven power on this one, which I love for us. So Gaia's Kin, let's look at this. Uh, worth two if you have one to two blank cards, three if you have four, three or four, six, 13 if you have seven to eight blank cards. That is like insane. I don't want to do that. I like developing my blank cards, I think. Will-O-Wisp gives several points per turn. And then... The Sundered Land. It's so expensive. Why? I guess because there are some cards that remove the negative, so it would just become super positive. But I don't see it being that good for us right now. Um, so for now, let's Will-O-Wisps um, over here. That just gets us two points per turn when it's drawn, and an extra little bit of economy here. And then next turn, I'll be looking to flip our top card, likely. So yeah, it doesn't look like anybody else is, like, pushing their luck. This person has their shield ability. 
Yeah, they're they're doing pretty basic moves, quite frankly. Maybe I'm I just lost that first time because I pushed my luck. But I mean, I have this moonstone, so I am interested in it. Still, I have four purchase and a point right now. A single green isn't enough for anything up here. Four purchase. It's kind of sad. At least if I put um, the bone caster on this card, I would always get the uh, the wild with it. So let's go and do that. And then with our extra little bit of power, we'll do this. Again, we can add more reds into our deck. Like, I think I'm always focused on going green, 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 but then I never have anything powerful. Sundered land, interesting. Yeah, I want to make sure we get some of these things. And look at the animated cards. Like, it makes such a difference. Here we have four purchase. When played, you may turn your token to the active side. So this thing. Um, I'd rather flip. I'd rather go through a five cost card, right? Cancels all negatives. I'm going to risk it. We got it. Oh my god. Um, I mean, the, the odds were in our favor, but still. Uh, let's put it here. If that dragon is still available later on, we'll look to put it on the top of this card. Here we go. Oh, look at this huge draw next turn. I love it. So he's going Fertile Soil, and that's it. So they're pretty lackluster, I would say. There's very few Spirit Tokens to go for right now, so there's not much coming up here. This turn, we're about to get three points and 11 purchase and one and one. I'm not in a million years going to risk that. So we're going to get our Azure Lake or Harvest. Gain one for each on the card with the most. So... That's not guaranteed to be one, but it could be nice. And this here is, if you were to spoil, discard this game, gain one green. Yeah, let's just go for the the guaranteed one for now, because I don't have that many shields yet. Or that many cards, like, I don't have any cards with two guardians on it. Let's just say it like that. I do have 11 purchase, so I could go for the stag champion. Ongoing. Double the amount you gain from advancements on this card including text effects so like i have a card here that would give me two with the will o wisp if i could have put the stag on it it would have been nice but right now it's kind of nothing i could put on our magic seeds harvest one for every other card in your field or i could get the dragon unfortunately my card that negates everything isn't here the Magpie. Shuffle any number of cards from your discard pile into your deck. That seems really good. That seems really good. You're kind of relaxed, so you can go here. And then Gaia's Kin. You're all about having blank cards at the end of the game. I don't feel like I want to manage that, though. Um, the other five is a Shield Lord with one point per turn on it. I mean, if it's a shield card, we may as well start building something fresh. Um, or I keep saying shield, but it's like guardian, I think. So that was a really good turn for us. We got a fancy card up top. And we did more. Okay, they got the green from the person. Is there anything up here that I really need to talk about? Nothing here looks super crazy game-changing. Um, I think this is another example of like when it's worth pushing there's not much for me to lose um and i have a lot to gain we did spoil and that means that this is going to flip right so i can evoke it on my next turn i guess does that cost me three points i'm a little bit confused it looks like he gives minus three i thought it was maybe just minus three for picking up the moonstone um because it looks like they got two points and they 
got minus four and can evoke it for uh, a green on their future turns. Interesting. Well, this is a really good turn. 14 purchase. Do I have to evoke it in this phase? I don't know. Oh, we have one, two, and a wild. So we can go for this. Harvest. You may discard this card to purchase a level two advancement for zero. Level two advancement is like five cost, apparently. Maybe six cost. I don't know if that's so good. On harvest, gain additional purchase. I think at getting the one that gives you a yellow every turn is just better for now. It's early enough in the game. There's 24 tokens to be taken. Um, you. Shuffle any number of cards from your discard pile back in. I do like that. The dragon fits on one of my cursed lands, but we didn't draw it this time. Um, this is interesting as well. What? What is this? Why? Like, this is just at the bottom for some reason, instead of on the side. For each... Shield on this card, place that many cards from the top of your deck at the end of your field. Does that, can that kill us? It doesn't seem like it. I could grab both of these, but I have 14 purchase, so it seems like a waste. And your upgraded side? I think we upgrade you. It's a good time for it. I can't activate you. But it did give us a couple, an extra point. And then I have 11. Do I have a shield lord already started? No. I feel like a crazy person because I'm not interested in the low cost. Oh, I'm interested in the low cost ones. What? I don't understand what this means. Like, let's put you here. Oh, taking, upgrading that guy counted as two actions. Okay, well, in that case, we basically have to take the stag champion and build something on it later. Let's do the magpie. Activate. Shuffle any number of cards from your discard pile into your deck. Oh, uh, lame. I'll put a freaking empty. Because now we have a better chance of pushing our luck. Oh, I could have taken extra points, but no. I'm annoyed that I didn't get to use those two things. But. Unicorn. While on deck, you cannot spoil. I don't know that that's that good. I mean, oh, I guess that's why it's so cheap. Uh, Alright, here we can push our luck. Right now... We would have the benefit of being able to upgrade this card with a guardian with another one. Oh, wait. No, you don't benefit from that. It was the other one that benefited. How annoying. The Ant Elder. I really do want to push luck, but if they're not pushing luck, then I don't have to. I don't feel as compelled. I have a yellow right now, which gives me nothing. Let's accept what we have. Five purchase. You're the one here. For each person, add extra cards when we harvest. Oh, but I, I can't because you're both bottoms. Damn. And the sentry here is a little bit more expensive. But maybe I can... Can I evoke this? So now I have seven purchase. Oh, you know what? With seven purchase, though, we're getting the dragon. Oh, baby. That, and it doesn't count as even being negative because we have the Lifebringer seed on it, which cancels all negatives. Oh, baby, that feels good. And now it's more worthwhile to, um, to do stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ongoing Nymph has one for each on this card. Whew. She's, look at the dance, man. She's doing Nymph stuff. And you here, well, on deck, if you spoil game two and take another turn. So that's pretty cool. While on deck, if you spoil, 
I wonder if it's worth making it like a double negative in that case. Let's see, here we have eight purchase. Are we excited about eight purchase or do we want to push for one more? We could get the four and we could get the three, but we actually can't get the three because it doesn't fit anywhere. So the only thing we could really get is the two and six, but there's nowhere to put it. So I think this is a worthwhile, if we fail, we lose eight purchase, which sucks, but there's very little here to upgrade because I can't get the end, I can't get the magic seed, and I'm not interested in these cards unless it comes with more. See, now I feel okay. Nine, we go, we get the centaur going, I think. And then we have seven more purchase. I mean, Gaia's kin is fine. Um... It might be worth a few points at the end. Right now, it's not worth many. It's only worth like three. We're, we're like killing it this round though. I don't know what it is. I feel like they got stuck just grabbing the fields and we're chasing off like actual points. Okay, they're getting some guardian wolves and stuff. Frostbane, he's minus two points because he's like totally not what you were looking to get in your thing. This is a good hand for us, so let's not worry about it, because we have uh, four resources. Oh, whoa, you cost 30 purchase. All right, when bought, look at the top three cards of your deck. Discard any that... Discard any. Your deck will not be shuffled. Planting, you may choose one of the played... Well, I can't buy them, though, because I have a mix. If you were a spoil, gain an extra. I mean, that's kind of nice. All of your greens may be used as wilds. Are we going to get any more greens if we go for the Ent Elder? What I really want, though, is a card that gives points per turn. Like, the Stag technically does, so we could put that there. It would start getting two points per turn. And that's it. Oh, the hawk gives some, but it's in the wrong spot. Can't be added. The magic seed also can't be added. So I'm probably getting the stag. The stag has wild. You may discard this card to purchase two level two advancements for free. Yeah, okay. Fine. Um, yeah, so the stag is a negative card it makes me want to wait for a two thing on this card the ent elder if i add him to this card then it gives us an insanely good start oh i could have used my power discard up to two level two or three advancements in the commons then immediately replenish them let's activate let's get rid of this bird and this magic seed because they're in the wrong spot oh we can get rid of three things well i don't want this druid song anyway wolf oracle when played for each guardian on this card search your deck for a card you may discard it your deck will then not be reshuffled interesting uh we can get a guardian on this one i guess it's like fine no reason not to there's no um fertile fields left i guess anyways we have 11 points on cards now so it seems like we've learned something i feel like the game is still loud i, I, I put it down in the last episode but sometimes the whistle just comes in so strong all right so again this guy only has four points on cards somehow i don't know what happened to him he upgraded this guy. Harvest. To your left and right. The players to your left and right may discard their on deck card. For each player that discards, gain one, but do not subtract them from the pool. That's kind of interesting. He could help us if he wanted to. Um, okay. So here. 
Again, we have eight purchase and no fancy. What cards would we want to upgrade? Eagle. When played, you may turn your token to the active side. That's pretty sweet, actually. And it would go, what, on this card? You know what? I'm actually okay with that. So you're going to activate my token. And then this now has three guardians on it. Because right now it feels like we're ahead. So like we don't kind of need to risk it. I love the Grove Tender, but he's in the wrong place. Are you going to activate your dude? You are. I will discard this card and give him a point. That's fine by me. Okay. While on deck, if you spoil, it's no problem. So here I can next card for free. And now I would spoil if something went wrong. Two yellow isn't anything. But I'm also getting two points right now for this dragon. If I spoil, it would activate this. For six purchase, I could put a magpie... On top or bottom, probably here. What is this? Leyline Overflow Harvest. Determining your total, double it. Wow, these are some fancy cards. I really feel like we lost three points to take this Moonstone. So now I want to like take the risk. 13 cards left in deck. Active in the discard. Oh, what's this? Oh, basically, it's my whole deck. One, two. I don't feel like we added that many negatives. We're good. And not only are we good, we flipped a green. Okay. Well, I feel like we got away with murder just now. So, adding a dragon and stuff is cool. The stag champion has not really worked for us. Because I can never put it on something that's worthwhile. And if I don't want another... I don't want these ley line overflows. So let's... Activate you. Let's get rid of this, this. And I don't know, the stag. Okay, the rhino is cool. Ongoing. Get one green for every guardian on the card. I mean, that's pretty cool. Can I get both of you? No, I only have 10. So, like, I could buy you, and then I could buy the hawk. And then... You're a top and a bottom. So this could go here. What do you do? Harvest. Place cards on the top of your deck on the end of your field until there are 8 cards in your field. Eh, maybe. I kind of like... Because I have this card down here I can activist, right? Harvest. Discard this card and purchase a uh, level 2 card for 0. Let's use it. Oh. I can't purchase it. Oh. Because I have no purchasing left. My purchasing still counts. I thought it would be like an extra purchase. Um, do I wish to activate my Moonstone Amulet? Uh, yes. Because I got the Griffin. So I don't know. We didn't get to see it because we were flicking over to their hand. What are you? Wind Whisper. Ongoing. All on this card may be used as wild. That's pretty cool. So on our turn... We've got 10, 2, 3, 2, and a wild. I am not tempting fate on that one. Okay, you're three. You're double the points on the card. If I had 17, I'd grab this stag and put it here. And then put the... Uh, like the rhino in between. But it doesn't fit that way, unfortunately. Does anyone here uh, count with guardians? No. So I could stag with this rhino. The rhino's worth one. It grabs three per turn. 
if we use this, we can grab the Rhino and put it on a blank card. And then we come up here and we put the stag on the top of it. That's insanity. Now it's getting us six points. I mean, that's going to kill the game if we get there. Planting. You may use one when played ability a second time. When bought, you may look at the top three cards of your deck, discard any, and then the rest are reshuffled. This one's worth four points, three points, two points. I think you just take the four point, all right? I mean, if, do we think the game's going to end? Well, this is three points and has a benefit. So let's do this. Uh, this cannot be undone. Yeah. Purchase. Do I want to discard any of these? Yes and yes. And then we'll leave this one here. I love that for us. And then next turn. There's still cards you can purchase. Are you sure you want to cancel? Cancel? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot I had so many. Of course. Let's grab this too. Uh, it's all the tokens I have left. All right, so I think we're killing it this game. Thank you, game, for letting me know. I always just figured I could only afford one, but not the case. Okay, everyone's building pretty cool cards. The stag is here with an insane amount of points. We're going from two to eight if we can gra grab it. Otherwise, we have one and one. We can afford this. And, oh, you disappear when I mouse on you. Strange. Uh, do you disappear from here? Yeah, you do. Um, otherwise, we have six by, and we could potentially give it plus two. Now, here's the thing is, overgrowth, even though I think it's a bad card, is worth five points. Is worth plus one for every level three advancement you have. So I already have a couple of dragons. Um, and this one gives two per turn. This is a stag that would double. Okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's use our stone. And then five points or... I mean, I don't actually know. How many cards do I have? Can I see? Like this is a three point. This is a three point. I think the dragon's worth more. Uh, what? Oh, the ability gets overlapped. Oh, that's annoying. It would kill the stag. Okay, fine. Well, we'll just do this one. Now I understand what this bottom stuff is. You're nothing, but you have the ability of this. Oh, I'm glad I never bought you. And then you're doubling this next turn. Oh, thank you, game. Forgot to grab the thing up there with my points. Uh, do I want to charge it? Yeah, sure. Two extra purchase like every turn? Yeah. I mean, we have 41 points on cards and 18 points from the pool. And we get the tail gunner spot, which means that unlike before, now when I have the expansions, we can't run out of cards up here. And, in the tail gunner spot, the game can't suddenly end on me without me having it go. So, I appreciate that. I don't think we want to push our luck at all, though, with four and two. Well, it's a little bit nasty, because four and two is really just getting a couple of these. Harvest, you may discard this to get one of something else. Harvest, you may discard this to get one. But I mean, at least these cards are now in the deck, so there's something to be done for people that go for these things early. Um, so fine. Um, I wish I knew how much you were worth right now. I have no idea how many level three cards I have. When played, you may turn your thing active. Yeah, 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 that's been pretty good. Um, I have 10. But I have no place for these cards? Oh, I have six, sorry. I have ten points coming in. Which will end the game. So you, you're worth points for the number of blank cards. Well, that makes a lot of sense. You are worth points 
uh, one point. You're worth two points. And you're worth one. Okay, well, we grab you. We could evoke this, but it literally doesn't get us to enough. Uh, wait, 41? Yeah, I don't know how much this guy's actually giving me. So, we'll see where that 41 goes to. And then, yeah, I can grab a bunch of these cards, but... Can I use them right away? Um, I could use something as a wild, actually. Undo, undo. Oh, too bad. The first one is bought. And that used two of my... My beast stuff. Damn it! Because I hit used, but it does nothing for me. Because I could evoke my thing and then make something wild. But none of this is worth points if I only have two of this. So that was a mistake. I could have used those two wilds plus another thing to get three points here or two points there. Would have taken the three. And I would have got two more points to spend this turn. I wouldn't have done anything, but it's fine. So, Stormcaller is still worth one point. That's fine. Where are they going? Oh, you are worth one point. Okay, so it's not that bad. Oh, and this is the final round. So, that, no, no, that ended the game immediately because I drew the rest. Okay, we have learned how to play the game. Holy jeez, 10 had a rough go. Ten, I said Life Wardens, Beast Brothers had a bad go, a cereal box. Finally, our first game. You put in the DLCs and we're a freaking ringer. We learned how to play the game. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.